Hello, my name is Mark, and I am an animal keeper for the education department here at the Brandywine Zoo. Today with me, I have my friend Olive. She is an ambassador animal. She is a Virginia opossum. So Olive here is about a year and a half old. The reason she came to us here at the zoo was she was found alone in the wild, either by being abandoned or orphaned. Um, and she had some abnormalities with her feet. They were kind of disfigured a little bit. So rehabbers brought her into their facility and they nursed her back to health. Um, and then once she was all better, they determined that due to her abnormalities with her feet, um, since it doesn't allow her to climb anymore, she was unreleasable. Um, so we took her in here at the zoo and we're giving her all the specialized care that she needs. In the wild, opossums will live to be about one to two years old, but in managed care, they can live around three or four years old. When they're born, opossums are about the size of a jelly bean. And at that small size, they're able to crawl up into their mother's pouch and they will spend the rest of their childhood developing there and receiving their mother's milk and that protection from that pouch. So as I mentioned, she has a pouch. Virginia opossums are North America's only native marsupial. So another marsupial would be like a kangaroo or a wallaby. So that pouch is one of the identifying features of a marsupial. As you can see, she's very interested in what's in my hands right now. So here we have some of her favorite foods. In the wild, opossums are opportunistic omnivores. So that's a fancy way of saying that they'll eat pretty much anything they come across. Not much unlike myself. So they'll eat anything from small rodents or other mammals to birds, insects, leaves, fruits, anything like that. Here at the zoo, we feed her a lot of um, lettuce and vegetables such as sweet potato and um, red bell pepper. But some of her more favorite things are dog kibble because it has all those proteins and nutrients that she needs and that she would get in the wild, as well as her most favorite, which is hard boiled egg. That's what she's searching for right now. Opossums, like I said, she is two years, or a year and a half old, but she is full grown. Um, the females tend to get to be around, um, around four to eight pounds at their adult life. Um, the males will get a little bigger. They can be about 14 pounds um, at maximum. And they will get to be around one to two feet long, not including their tail, which doubles their body length. So since I've mentioned that tail, you can notice that it's actually um, hairless. So it's the only part of her that is not covered by that nice thick fur. So in cartoons and stuff like that, you might have seen opossums hanging from their tails from branches or anything like that. It looks very cute. That's actually not a reality because um, their muscles in their tail aren't strong enough to support their body weight. But that tail is a prehensile tail, which means it can grab and grasp onto things. So what they actually do use it for is for support and balance when they're climbing along trees and on branches. Um, they also can use it when they're carrying nesting materials. They'll kind of wrap it around all of leaves and stuff like that and bring it back to wherever they're going to make a home. Another really cool adaptation is their hands. So they do have five digits on all four feet, but on the hind feet, they actually have an opposable thumb. So that's another thing that really helps them hold onto branches when they're trying to climb. Like I said, Olive's feet are a little bit more deformed than a natural, um, more than an average opossum foot would look. Um, but it still functions well for holding onto most things, especially that uh, hard boiled egg that she loves so much. So when people see these animals in their neighborhood, you might even see one in your backyard, um, their first instinct is to be afraid of it and think that it's a pest. Um, but we actually really uh, need these guys. They're very helpful to us in our everyday life. They get rid of a lot of pests um, 
like I said earlier, they eat a lot of rodents. Uh, they eat other small mammals, things that we do consider pests. Um, they're also very good at grooming themselves. I bring that up because in their natural habitat, something that they would come across a lot are ticks. So they live in the woods and everything like that. They're a really good vector for ticks. So as they're grooming themselves, they pick up all the ticks that have landed on them. So an opossum can eat about 500 ticks per season. So the more ticks that an opossum is eating, the less that will land on you and me. So they're actually really good to have around. Another common fear is that they might be infected with rabies. What's really cool about opossums is that their body temperature is actually too low to support the virus. So they're practically immune to the rabies virus. On that note, I guess I will wrap things up. Thank you very much for visiting us today. I'm sure that Olive appreciated showing you all of her wonderful features. Thank you very much.